ST Genetics has been a leader in our industry investing and promoting new technologies. The first was sex semen, the second was genomic testing, and we really feel the third new revolution with breeding cattle will be using ecofeed data. It's very important to try and reduce the environmental impact that each farm has. And if you can do that by making a relatively simple change in the genetics that you introduce into your herd to reduce the amount of feed that they intake, reduce the amount of waste they produce, while still maintaining the production level you desire, to us that's extremely impactful to the entire industry. Any dairy farm, whether you're in the United States, whether you're in Canada or in Europe or South America, the biggest cost is feed. It doesn't matter whether it's high quality feed or low quality feed, the still the biggest cost to operate any farm, any dairy, is feed costs. Differences of, of what we've seen is, is a huge scale. Um, for me, that started on the beef side. To see the differences that, that beef bulls would, would eat, uh, sometimes 10 to 15 pounds, and still not be able to gain the average compared to a bull that would eat 10 to 15 pounds less. That multiplied out is huge dollars. I mean, it's, and we were doing that over a, you know, a, a 75 day schedule. Imagine doing that over the lifetime of a bull. And then at, at that same, same rate, now think about that genetics now are spread into the next generation of females as well too from their inefficiencies uh, down the road for feed efficiency. So to me, the, the beef side really opened my eyes to it, to see it. And now on the dairy side, we see it we see the extremes in that as well too. But on the dairy side, we see the differences in populations of sire, sire groupings. So daughters such as Charismatic, compared to Deltas, compared to Rubicons. That's where we're seeing it today. From a collection of the data, um, you'll see multiple uh, feed bunks in, in front of the animals. And the, the, the process is to make sure that an animal is uh, connected from an RFID button in the ear, and as that animal, male or female, comes through the head gates to enter into the feed bunk, where only one animal can enter, then that RFID button is read around the feed bunk itself. So each animal, as, as he or she comes in, it's automatically um, identified of what animal sticks its head in. And of course, each bunk is weighing per second. So each gulp of feed, each mouthful of feed, the veracity of which that animal is eaten, all of that data is collected each time. I can sit in my office watching the, the EcoFeed testing screen and I can look up node 12 and it'll tell me exactly which heifer is in here. It'll tell me how long she's been here. It'll tell me how much she's consumed so far today, how much she consumed yesterday and for every day that she's been on the EcoFeed trial. EcoFeed system works from finding the average daily gain of a heifer say on an average she's gaining 2.1 pounds per day. Um, does she eat 10 pounds of grain more than contemporaries to get to the 2.1 pounds of grain? Does she eat 10 pounds less and still maintain the 2.1 pounds per day? So our system has the ability to measure those heifers um, from the percent over the average that they eat, whether it's under the average or over the average, and what percent they gain from there. So EcoFeed heifers, are try we're trying to determine those heifers that can get to that average daily gain that we're looking for while eating less than their contemporary values. The EcoFeed value today is calculated by progeny that we have run through the system, i.e. the 6,000 uh, animals that we've tested in our system provide us with this. And within that 6,000, you have multiple sires that have had multiple daughters. 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, multiple daughters running through the EcoFeed system. That compiled with the genomic data gives us great reliability to put those sires out today in the marketplace as EcoFeed sires. Mm -hmm.